Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys an easy, fruity and delicious summertime dessert that you are going to love. I'll be making my lemon cheesecake blueberry trifle. This dessert is heavenly. Every single bite is bursting with so much incredible flavor and it's perfect for summertime. We're going to start with my buttery and zesty lemon pound cake. Cut that into little cubes, soak the cake with some limoncello and layer it with my homemade lemon curd recipe. Add a zesty lemon and cheesecake filling, lots of blueberries, some blueberry preserves. I mean, this recipe is just amazing, over the top, delicious, perfect for any occasion. Now I'm also going to be including instructions for how you can make this into a no-bake recipe as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions and the links for my pound cake and my lemon curd, head on down in the video description box. I'll have everything there for you guys. Meanwhile, let's get started. Since I already have my cake and my lemon curd done, I'm going to jump straight into my lemon cheesecake filling and we'll talk about the cake and the lemon curd a little bit later. So I have two eight ounce bricks, so 16 ounces total of softened cream cheese. I just softened this at room temperature. You can also use mascarpone cheese for this recipe. I'll include those instructions up on the website. To the cream cheese, I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Add in a splash of limoncello. This is a sweet lemon liqueur, about a tablespoon. And for lots of zesty lemon flavor, I'm going to add the zest of two large lemons into my filling. This is the best way to add some incredibly aromatic and delicious lemon flavor. And then I'll use my mixer and beat the cream cheese for a few minutes until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Next, I'm going to measure out half a cup of my homemade lemon curd. The full recipe makes about two and a half cups. I let this chill in the refrigerator overnight. And we're going to add half a cup into our cheesecake filling. Add in a one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar and mix this all together. And one final ingredient going in for our filling, two cups of very well chilled heavy cream. We'll pour that in and then give it a mix until stiff peaks form. This lemon cheesecake filling is to die for. It's going to taste so good in this trifle. We'll set that aside for now and let's talk about the cake. I baked a batch of my lemon pound cake. I'm going to have that recipe link down in the video description box below and I baked it in a one nine by 13 inch pan. I let uh, this cool down completely and then I wrapped it up in plastic wrap so it wouldn't dry overnight. And I also made a batch of my homemade lemon curd. This stuff is incredible. I've been using the same recipe for many, many years. It's my go-to recipe. Uh, make a batch of this, it makes about two and a half cups. If you wanna make this recipe super simple, no bake, pick up an angel food cake at your local, gro local grocery store and also pick up a few jars of uh, pre-made lemon curd and then it's going to be super, super easy to put this trifle together. I'm going to use a serrated knife, cut the cake in half. So it's just, it's a little easier to work with one half at a time. And then I like to use smaller cake squares. So I'm going to split the layer in half this way. And we'll get little cake squares like that. Mmm, that lemon pound cake is so good. All right, let's put this all together. Grab a large trifle bowl like this one or you can uh, assemble it just in a regular glass bowl. I also pre-washed some blueberries. I've measured out six cups of blueberries. I'm probably not gonna use all of them, but I do like to have tons and tons of blueberries. I also have some blueberry preserves, just gonna add a little bit more blueberry flavor. I'm going to start by layering some of the cake pieces into the bottom of the trifle. Just drop them in. 
And then we also have our limoncello, which I'm going to kind of brush over the cake pieces so they'll soak in a little bit of that lemon flavor too. And then use a pastry brush to very lightly add some of the limoncello. You don't want to add too much of it. I'll add in a few spoonfuls of my blueberry preserves next. Drop in that lemon curd. And add your blueberries. This trifle is so pretty. I wish I didn't have to destroy it. We're gonna take a little bit of this apart, grab a large spoon, kind of scoop down into the trifle. Wanna get a little bit of everything. You wanna get some of the cake, some of that lemon curd, the filling. Oh, this is gonna be incredible. This is one epic spoonful. Perfect. How incredibly pretty is this lemon blueberry trifle? I love all the layers in there, the berries, the cream, the cake. It just looks so pretty. I could totally imagine this on a summer dinner table outside when the sun is setting. Mm, it's gonna be perfect. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions, head on down into that video description box. I'm also going to link up my lemon pound cake and my lemon curd. Of course, you can do this as a no-bake cake. Just buy angel food cake, buy some uh, canned lemon curd at the store. Time to dig in and enjoy. This looks so good. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. So you wanna scoop up some cake, some of the blueberries, some of the filling. Perfect bite right here. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. mmm. -hmm. Mm. This dessert is fantastic. I love all the flavors here. You get a ton of lemon flavor from the cheesecake filling, the lemon curd, lots of blueberry flavor. I love using tons and tons of fresh blueberries. A must for me. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is just so perfect for summer. It's light, it's fluffy, it's fruity, zesty. Just incredible, and it's a really great dessert if you wanna make it ahead of time. You can make it the night before, place it into the refrigerator, let it chill. All those layers and the flavors will really come together. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. It's a huge help to my videos, and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.